how do I score a cone? In power play, teams will try to score cones on the ground junction and three different height poles known as the low, medium, and high junctions. Teams may determine to place on any level of pole based on their strategy. The ground junction is one of the easier junctions to score on because teams can find they can push a cone into the base and for the most part it will stay there. Some of the other junctions will require some form of lifting device to get the cone high enough to score. So one way to lift a cone is to use an arm that allows the end to stay in the same orientation as it goes up and down. This is useful to keep the cone orientation the same from when you pick it up to when you go to score it. On this robot, we elected to use a high reduction gearbox to be able to move the arm. And this high reduction gearbox allows us to precisely raise and lower the arm even with all the load out at the end of it. Some teams may prefer to power a mechanism like this with belts or even gears. So we chose to power this arm off of a chain, mostly to be able to use these inline tensioners to get the exact distance without having to precisely locate chain in space. For low load applications, you could find that using a belt is easier to work with than chain. While we use the Neverest 264 gear motor, teams may find that their arm is light enough that they can use a smaller gear reduction, which will allow their arm to move faster. Another way to raise a cone is using a linear slide-based system similar to what teams have developed for many, many years. A linear-based system is very compact in nature, allowing teams to be able to reach high heights without having multiple joints in an arm. Teams may have an easier time controlling a linear system versus an arm due to the nature of the game and having the poles straight vertical. One thing to note about an arm-based system is the output moves in an arc motion, whereas in a linear system, the output moves in a straight motion. This makes things slightly more predictable for drivers. In our new linear system, we opted to use the standard SAR 330 slide systems that teams have been using for quite some time with great success. This provides a very smooth travel and is able to hold quite a bit of load. These move up and down by pulling on a cable driven by a Neverest motor. As the system is pulled, it raises and lowers the system using small bearings in each of the pulley blocks. The way we've chosen to rig this elevator is using a continuous rigging, which allows us to use one cable for the up and one cable to pull it down. As you can see, this cable runs through the length of our system through every pulley block and is finally connected at the output. We've chosen to include a spring to add a way of tensioning the down cable, which allows the cable to stay taut all the way through the length of its travel. So for this new linear system, we are offering it in multiple stages. In this case, we opted to make a three-stage lift system, which allows us to reach the high junction. We know teams will come up with many creative solutions to raise a cone in power play, and we can't wait to see what you come up with. And that is how you score a cone.